हेलो फ्रेंड्स एंड वेलकम टू येट अनदर एपिसोड ऑफ पॉस टॉक टुडे वी हैव विद अस कविता नेम इट सेल्फ इज सो मेलोडियस नो बट शी इज गोइंग टू अनफोल्ड हर जर्नी रिगार्डिंग हर पॉस वेलकम कविता टू पॉस टॉक थैंक यू मैम फॉर इनवाइटिंग मी हियर फॉर दिस ब्यूटीफुल एपिसोड ऑफ पॉस पॉस टॉक थैंक यू सो मच Kavita is a mental health coach and now i will request kavita to introduce herself um i am kavita and uh, i belongs to mumbai and uh, basically currently i am a mental health coach reiki master and pursuing as a parenting coach also and i am a published author of a book kasturi hmm. beautiful she is an author of a uh, beautiful book kasturi where she has uh, pin pin down her all the poems uh, which are very heart rendering and beautiful i will now request kavita to please share about your professional journey so that we know the insights uh, basically i as uh, passed out my graduation is bsc nursing so i am from the nursing background and i have a many years of experience in college of nursing and uh, um, in a hospital also and after a, a gap uh, then again after the 10 years of gap i started my journey as a mental health coach i completed my nlp mastership and i have completed my reiki mastery and uh, i am into now as a mental health coach in a healing and um, therapies and counseling wow so, that is how we will see that what happened in those 10 years and what all she has done now she is doing what that is the episode of post talk we have number of women coming here to share their post stories and each woman is different this post story and now the international women's day is here and we are able to bring out these post stories every week so for us it is not celebrating just one day as a women's day we are celebrating every week as a women's day so beautiful kavita now tell us about the pause that you had in your life first so my pause started after my marriage i have been told to leave the job as and i left the job then uh, i uh, started working after two years of marriage again uh, i started working for two years and then after two years that i was uh, i was i got a pregnant um, after seven years like uh, it's a long gap after marriage uh i was having some physical issues for conception so after a long time so i thought of like uh, uh taking a pause for the pregnancy so that was a pause for almost 7 to 8 years and um, then after that again uh, in that period i was uh, keeping myself that something was missing and uh, i started i was a writer since my childhood at the age of 10 years i was writing so it was my hobby mm. then again i perceived after 10 years of marriage again i perceived uh, uh, writing i started expressing my feelings in on pen in paper so it becomes my friend and again um, uh, then the after a time uh, like i was feeling that something is missing and um, but i was not able to recognize so through the writing only i came out with the conclusion that self attachment is not there that something is missing from the soul then i have done reiki and i started expressing and healing myself that way so the journey of transformation started from there so that point of time i perceived uh, my uh, reiki level 1 and then i have go, gone ahead with this journey of healing mm -hmm. and uh, after uh, like in 2016 i got uh, 
my baby, a beautiful angel. Right now, she's a seven-year-old. Then it was no point of like, as a, after a long back, God has given me a gift. So I decided to continue with uh, writing and um, uh, giving a good uh, care to her as a good parent. So my values were there to take me, decide to have a pause for that point of time. So from 2016 to till 2023, I was uh, as a housewife. And then again, uh, in 2023, like as my daughter is growing up and I feel some uh, things, some uh, practicality should be there in her life. And I have seen many women like me who are at home, but something is something they have, they are struggling in many issues. Mm -hmm. Some women are having a relationship issue. Some are in a depression as I was having a hobby of writing a poetry. I was able to express myself, but right. there are the women, those who are not even able to express themselves. They were suffering a lot mentally. Right. Right. So, I, with the healing and with uh, counseling, I started uh, counseling in a pre of cost from home only. The people, those who were coming to me in a contact and talking to me. So mm. I felt this can be uh, my journey as a profession. Then right. I have done my NLP uh, practitioners in 2023, May. And then immediately after two months, then I have completed my mastership. And I started taking my one-to-one -one client for the therapy session and uh, counseling. So Wonderful. about my professional journey. Wonderful. Wonderful. That is about your pause. Professional journey is now behind now. <laughs> this is the pause that we are talking about that yeah. she did not sit down in her pause. She was writing. No, she made her pause beautiful by writing, by penning down, by bringing out her book now. So that journey, and I'm really uh, resonating with what she's saying is that, uh, Kavita, that you are able to not get into the depressive or spiral down zone because we are able to express ourselves. So either we find a person to whom we can talk, uh, but nobody listens nowadays much. Uh, and then it is beautiful to uh, turn creative, you know? Either you start to paint or you start to write something and that is what she has done. Even I have been writing and that is how I also came out with my own book of poems. And uh, the next one is also coming soon. So this is how we as when we turn creative, we can really take care of our uh, mind and body more nicely. No, it is more important because people are always on that scientific bent of mind and they think that science is everything, thinking is everything. But when we start to be creative and then we come to the heart part, that is where we can really live our life more beautifully, more naturally and more to being true to our own self. So congratulations for having that wonderful book that you have and beautiful name, Kasturi. Uh, how do you thought of that name Kasturi? Please tell us. And tell, uh, because some people may not even know what the meaning of Kasturi is. Yeah, so Kasturi is all about my journey. So every individual has their own experiences and perception about the life journey. So Kasturi is a book of collection of a poetry in that each and every moment of life, all the rasas, all the rasas are mentioned in that there is an anger, there is an emotions of uh, fear, there is an, some uh, poems about love, some poem about the reality and harshness, a bitter side of a life. So the many experiences are there in that, in the form of uh, one book. So it gives you, Kasturi means the essence. A khushbu, a kaisi khushbu, jo ek hiran ke andari hoti hai, lekin wo usko bahar dhunta rehta hai. So Correct. I thought, Correct. what name should be given to it? So I was just thinking and suddenly it came to my mind, ki I am like a hiran, I am like that mrug, jisko talash hai apne man ki shanti ke, jise mm -hmm. kuch chahi hai, jise usse sukoon mile, usse uska mental mm -hmm. peace mile. 
and with this lessons and learning i am getting something expressing so and the people other who are going to read that is yeah. also getting learning from this experiences so it's a khushboo khushboo of a life of a someone yes hum bahar dhoondte rehte hain lekin wo hamare andar hi hai absolutely so, hmm beautiful is said beautiful is said kavita because the fragrance which we are finding trying to get outside i may also get uh, go a step further and say that the happiness which we are trying to find outside is all inside always now so we are search are seeking for happiness is in vain we have to go in you know when we go in we can find our own fragrance we can find our own happiness so to say and that is how we can help others also to find that happiness which you are doing now no so what is that you are doing now post the pause you have you have skilled up skilled yourself by learning so many modalities so how are you helping people now post the pause please share your journey so the post pause is like my therapeutic journey as a coach so whenever the client or any person i find that in a pause actually in a pause so i tell them i heal them through my modalities not as a professional but as a person also mm. that each and everybody has a story mm. you we all have a different stories but the pause has a different side also you have to yes. see the other side of a pause as i considered myself as a, in that pause i started uh, writing and i become a creative and that yeah. creativity serves to many people so mm. i tell them i find in my clients some creativity mm. either in the form of writing or in a drawing or painting or any hobby mm. so i tell them i help them to find their hobbies so that that helps into their uh, to see the perception per, uh, about the pause right because usually the people see that they are alone Yeah. something happens that that is all about the darkness so yeah. the, behind the darkness beyond the darkness there is a light yeah. so my work is to show the light to them through my healings and uh, as i am a mental health coach nlp master so through i reframe their mind with the positivity and uh, i train them to face the challenges of uh, their life and uh, as um, that's about my work and how are you taking your personal life forward so please tell something about that so the personal life uh, is all about like i have a i as i mentioned that i have a beautiful 7 year old uh, daughter so uh, my i keep my work balance for, with uh, my personal life so i serve as a parenting also uh, i serve uh, try to give my best as a parent as a mother and um, whatever i learn in my therapeutic uh, way like uh, in my courses so mm. that all i apply is my nlp techniques in my personal life so mm. that change my life completely so the full of life is become like an bhagavad gita you have to live Yes. The way you want, and uh, you have to live. आप जैसे हो वैसे ही रहो. There is a no drama. Correct. Like Correct. there is here only the Kuru Shetra. So in Kuru Shetra, you have to uh, live in the same uh, ma- uh, same ground, and you have to act. So absolutely, that's... absolutely, absolutely. So beautifully said. No, that we have to be the Arjun of our own Kuru Shetra. We have to also be the Krishna of our own Kuru Shetra. nobody yes. else is going to come here to save us no right yeah this is so beautiful yeah kavita this was wonderful uh, the way you have been able to bring out the pause in your life in a very very positive way you've taken and i'm sure your daughter really is uh, getting a right inspiration from uh, a mother like you and now that you have also started your parenting uh, coaching journey i'm sure more things are going to come up for you post the pause so this was really wonderful kavita thank you so much for being here 
I would like you to share a final message for the audience. So my message here for the audience is don't take the pause. Don't see the pause in a one side only. The coin has a two sides. Mm. So after a darkness, there is definitely the rays of light. Mm. And believe in yourself, whatever will happen, whatever may happen, it happens for the good always. Mm. And once you believe in yourself, the self-belief is the key to success. When you believe in yourself, then you win all the world. And when you अपनी खुशियां बाहर ढूंढते हो अपने इमोशंस को दूसरों के साथ कनेक्ट करते हो और दूसरों को रिस्पांसिबल ठहराते हो अपने हर्ट्स और पेन के लिए देन इट बिकम्स अ डिफिकल्ट फॉर यू सो बिलीव इन योरसेल्फ ट्रस्ट ऑन यूनिवर्स द गॉड हैज ऑलवेज थॉट समथिंग बेटर फॉर यू अमेजिंग यस यस प्लीज कंटिन्यू प्लीज कंटिन्यू या सो इट्स अ मैटर ऑफ ट्रस्ट इट्स अ मैटर ऑफ बिलीव and we all have a journeys we all have our karmas and according to that we all have our own stories hmm. very beautifully said very beautifully summed up actually the whole uh, philosophy of life i must say this is the philosophy of life that we have to trust and believe in our own selves and our own potential only then can we help others to do that no if we are not even doing that for ourselves how can i help others and we are born in this world not only to be able to be happy our own selves but also help others to be happy that is the purpose of any human being in this world and i'm sure you are doing this purpose very beautifully all the best kavita for all your future endeavors and i'm sure more books will follow your kasturi and you will be able to spread that beautiful fragrance to the world around you it was really wonderful having you kavita thank you so much ma'am thank you for inviting here thank you thank you so much kavita namaste